Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our February 6th and 7th, 2024, Modern Design Auction. Stay with me for the next uh, 20 minutes or so, and I will walk up and down the aisles and we can see what's in the auction occurring on our website, on Live Auctioneers, on Invaluable, and Bid Spirit. Online bidding only preview is Monday, February 5th from 10 to 6. So as usual, I just do a quick walkthrough for the first time through just so you can get an overview and then I'll come and spend a little bit of time looking at each one of these items. Uh, we're going roughly in order. Day one starts on Tuesday, February 6th at 10 a.m. We do about 45 lots per hour. Bidding happens on our website. It happens on Live Auctioneers and Invaluable. You can place your bids there. You can go there right now and look at multiple pictures on these items. We have about an average of 12 or so pictures. Some items have 20 pictures, depending on how many pieces are in it. So these auctions will take all day on Tuesday and Wednesday, February 6th and 7th, 2024. We're up to about lot 250 on day one. Everything from Danish furniture, rosewood, teak, abstract art, teak carts, nightstands, dining tables. There's some parts right there for a Herman Miller steel frame. Down here, sets of folding chairs, nightstands. Great shelves. Look at this amazing, this is in day two, amazing canoe right here from the Tommy Hilfiger. Retail stores or his house, I'm not even sure. Came from Tommy Hilfiger. Here's another piece also from that same collection. And look at this below it. This is an amazing free edge table. It's 12 feet long. Has all the uh, butterflies in it right down. 12 feet's too long, you could always make it shorter. It has these like uh, kind of bold on like George Nelson style legs. All right, let me continue through here. This kind of starts day two. You have artwork and lamps and sculpture, old signs and mirrors. Great Paul Macab, stemware. Lots more art. It's kind of hard to see some of these items because of the uh, <laughs> the fact that they're stacked up. Travertine, Lucite. Peek around this direction. Over 1,200 items in the two days. Each auction is going to be all day, from 10 in the morning till 10 at night. Preview on Monday. Come by and take a look. We even allow preview during the auction, but there's no bidding during the auction in person, only bidding on the apps on our website on Live Auctioneers are Invaluable. Great collection of books. The Kooning, Jasper Johns, Mark Rothko, that's all sold together. There's about 400 pounds of books there. We weighed them because someone asked how much it would cost to ship them. All right, you pretty much get the idea. The auction, one of the days, ends with a bunch of group lots. This is day one, ends with uh, curated lots of mid-century tray lots, figurines, radios, canister sets, art glass, everything. All right, so let's go and start the auction see some of the interesting items that begin on Tuesday. Uh, item number one is one of the most uh, iconic items in the sale. It's a Mies van der Rohe Barcelona chair, and it's an early one. If you look under here, the way it's constructed, uh, from our research, it's got, it's got the two screws, it's got the straps, that it's an uh, early one, pre knoll So this chair should do pretty well. I'm doing a bunch of angles on it so you can see it a little bit better. 
very nice chair. Up here you have a free edge, kind of Nakashima style bench in pine, lot number 16. Some good pottery all the way through the beginning of the day here. Underneath here is a Carl Springer attributed coffee table, a real big one right there. It's like probably four feet by four feet. And these are solid metal. Autotura. Very cool lamp right here, almost like a Hagen Arrow style bronze. More travertine in the back there. This is an amazing table with the leather bounding, lot 14. Look at the uh, kind of the construction on it, and it's very well honed. Green Mendy. Let me come around the end here. Look at that nice table. It's got legs that kind of splay out. Underneath it, you have the tile top table. Bunch of good pottery, Art Deco, uh, Lisa Larson in there. You have some nice European pottery. Let me continue on. Always a good selection of andirons. Look at this amazing table down here. It is travertine. It's got wood legs on it. It's kind of low to the ground. Very thick travertine. These are very nice. A pair of these are, two pieces are going to be sold. They're vintage glass. Some nice teak. In the back there you have a kind of a tessellated credenza. And then some nice... Uh, Nice table on top there. Continue on. Harry Bertoia. A little bit further down. Great, like, lacquer coffee table on the bottom there, like 102. There's some good andirons. A lot of the uh, nautical theme stuff came from the Tommy Hilfiger estate or house. I'm not even sure. Paul McCobb. Back here, you have some great speakers. These are these uh, monolith electrostatic speakers. Look at these nice ones right here. Lot 171. Very nice. Continue down here. You have some nice case pieces, chests of drawers, nightstands, end tables. Amazing metal kind of zigzag lamps. The size of these is incredible. Sometimes hard to tell how big items are from the catalog pictures. We usually try to put a scale person in there or something, but a lot of times it's good to see the items with other items. You get a good grip. Lot 122, good grip on the... Uh, Size. Lot 122 is the Rope Edge Herman Miller. When they have a Rope Edge, you can see it under here. You see that? That's an older one because it has that Rope Edge. Continuing on, stackable chairs. These are contemporary, but they always sell pretty well. The uh, kind of laurel style lamps let's continue on very nice tulip table tulip chairs thonet style arthur umanoff style bar stools Lot number 231 is this nice credenza with the sliding doors a bunch of these Lucite kind of display cabinets. These are all brand new. We took them all out of the out of the packaging. Harry Pertoia on top there. Look at these great bar stools, kind of with the twisted and the huge rivets around the edges. Nice metal backs. Lots of American modern bedroom furniture. You know what? I've already gone down there. Let me come back this way and kind of do this side real quick. Have like a Brazilian sofa. Very nice chairs with this set right here. Oftentimes it's kind of hard to see the dining chairs because we use the dining tables as as uh, platforms for other items. Look at this great dining room table right here. All 
very well done with the refractory leaves. Look at this nice leather chair. Vinyl chair. Vinyl, I guess you call it Chesterfield. There's a bunch of sets of these, kind of the uh, Maitland Smith style. Look at these nice pair of uh, chairs, they all break down. Let me do a quick walk around for this. Uh, this is day two on the, the rowboat. We shot inside it. See that rustic rowboat. It was just a prop. Pretty sure it has a hole in the bottom of it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna float. Nice driftwood table bases, lot 742. Look at this around here, kind of like Carl Springer style. And then you have the 80s brass, and then you have sets of childs, almost like a Nelson slat situation going on here. You have a nice X-Base chair on top of an X-Base table. Back up a little bit below that, you can see that's a Rob John Givings double dresser. The iconic one with the uh, metal. All the inserts inside the drawers. Very nice. Come along here. Everything from the colorful Parsons table to red lamps and green and yellow lamps. And look at this grouping right here. Lot 775 are these torsos. That's a nice piece of pottery right there by Rob Smith. Bob Smith. Lots of good art. Look at these lamps, kind of like Danish. Where do you get all this stuff? Look at the null fabric. We have a good stable of consigners who know what they're looking for and kind of curate it and bring it to us. You know how many states we'd have to do to be able to get this much merchandise of this style every couple months. We've been resigned to having these mid-century modern design auctions about every two months. We had one back in December. Now we're having one in February. We'll have another in April. And then another in June and then August. About every two months. There's some more of those pedestal things right here. This one's got like a wavy finish to it. Here's another pair of them. Those are expensive from retail. Once they're gone, they're gone. We don't have many more of them, that's for sure. All right, let me come around here. Good mirror there, look at that one. It's, it's a very deep well kind of star frame. It's pretty vintage, let me tip it forward so you can see the back. It's got some age to it. That's lot number 1033 towards the end of the auction. So that's where we, this is kind of where we end up. Some good Italian furniture at the end of day two. These great kind of hairpin wicker lamps, lot 972. Look at this great chair. Kind of like an Eames inspired style chair right there, but it's it's like a side chair. Wonder what name is on it. it just says Plycraft style. But it definitely has like inspiration of the Eames leather molded around sides, only like a miniature version if you only had if you didn't want a lounge chair you just wanted a side chair slat benches sets of nightstands you're going to want to peruse the catalog and search for specific items look at this great item now this is this one just came in give you a little sneak peek for a later auction wow isn't that wild this will not be in the auction on february 6th and 7th all right let me go in the lobby here Look at this, more than nautical stuff from the Tommy Hilfiger job. Kind of got a cake and style sofa in pink. Look at that great mirror over there. Let me come along here. You have some good abstract, large abstract paintings by Sackelson. There's others by uh, Levitt. You have prints. You have French deco prints. Look at that like Pantone style zigzag in the back right there. We call that Werner Panton for Mira. Very nice. More abstract art. Lots of 
of colorful large art. Let me continue on here. Portholes from the Hilfiger job. Come across here in the lobby. We have a great collection, a pair of great chairs. There's two of those. How they got wood all the way around. They have like a nice like suede finish. That great heavy iron table right here. Thick, super thick glass. And this is all solid iron. Very heavy. This is an interesting table. Come down on it, you can see it's all kind of laminated crackled. So I think it's three levels of laminated cracked glass. Cracked on purpose. Great set of, uh, very nice set of glassware. Right there, all these are uh, Sven Palmquist. Little groupings. All right, let's continue on. Look at this great lamp. It's super large. It's a lot bigger than, than these lamps usually are. It's a good two feet tall. And you have these kind of surreal art in the back right there, lot 809. There's more similar, by, by similar artist. By the same artist. All right, let's continue on. All right, I think I'm pretty much done the other room. Oh, one thing I did not do right here. Look at this great Mastercraft Oriental cabinet, the drawers. But these are all very large Blanco bottles. You got red, you have green, and you have yellow. Look how large they are. It's a good 30 inches tall. You don't find them like that anymore. So the stopper is like the size of a champagne bottle. Wow. All right, let's back up. Great art in the background there. This one right here, looks like Rhone for Mastercraft. Large vases. Again, continuing on. All right, get that great mirror here. It's kind of like Maitland Smith style. Great for your entryway. More artwork. Let me, let me aim down a little bit here. You have some good chandeliers across the top here. We just do the chandeliers across the top over here. Amazing. All right, let me take another closer look at these books. I know you're waiting for these later on. You have uh, lots of great ones, Edward Hopper, Frida Kahlo, Ansel Adams, Henry Osawa Tanner, Andy Warhol Diaries, Sagittas, um, Picasso, Oscar Schlemmer, a bunch of gallery books, Georgia O'Keeffe, Pablo Picasso, French, French, Fritz Scholder, Vanishwitz, Jasper Johns, Goodbye Picasso, Annie Leibovitz, Paul Klee, Jasper Johns, couple of those. Maplethorpe. I saw this one is a pretty good book right here, the Maplethorpe Pistols. Um, but we're selling it all in the group right there. I mean, this book right here should bring 100. Um, but we're selling the whole one. There's over 130 of these books alone. Henry Moore, Calder. Don't say that too loud. We'll get taken off the internet because Calder is crazy. All right. So let me see. Bryce Martin, Cold Mountain. You have um, George O'Keefe, Jasper Johns, lots more Jasper Johns. There's at least five Jasper Johns books in that pile right there. Paul Klee, Roy Lichtenstein, more Jasper Johns, Kandinsky, Mark Rothko. And here's the thing. We're talking about these right now. Another goodbye, Picasso. Uh, all these books we laid out so you can see the titles. You can see the uh, items right there. But even at, even at $10 a piece, that's... $1,300 for those books right there. That would still be cheap at $10 a piece. Here's more. There's there's some uh, groupings of catalogs. There's some groupings of um, or, or Asian pottery catalogs. There's more down here. Silver, Western art, African art. Here's some more Oriental Orientalism. American Arts and Crafts, Warhol's World, lot number, lot number 1181, 
is another grouping of uh, mostly modern art and oriental Turner Impressionism, modern art history of modern art, Herman Merrill, bronzes, Warhol's World. That's lot number 1181. Here's another group right here. This, these are sold just these two stacks right here. You have Eileen Gray, Graffiti Women, Fast Forward, Design Source Book. Some amazing stuff right here. This one, uh, I was looking at Design Source Book. Very cool um, kind of 80s design in there. Ornamentalism. You could spend hours just kind of leafing through these. Henri Matisse. Thousand Chairs, Asian Art, Modern Art, California Crazy and Beyond, right here. Everything from Ava Zeisel. Lots of great books. Lots of great libraries. All right, so let me walk down these aisles right here. This is a very nice, um, it's towards the end of the auction, came in late. 1178 is the cabinet nice pair of those nice pair of nightstands back here American modern there's some lane tables right there lane step tables and a lane coffee table there's American modern lounge chairs they come around here look at the size of these pottery lamps very nice this is an old-time wallpaper printer right here they took that roll and made it into a floor lamp <clears throat> continuing on some nice uh pine furniture like a memphis style coat rack going around here look at this great bench <laughs> these items right here will be in our april garden sale Look at that nice table there. Wow. This stuff is not in the auction in February. <clears throat> Continuing on. Colorful lamps. Nesting tables. Look at that nice little 50s style little bistro set. Some planters. Great free edge chairs. Tables. We continue on. This is an amazing table here. It's kind of like a um, Maitland Smith style tessellated with the brass inlay. But look at the way it goes like further that way, but it comes a little bit closer this side. It's got a neat shape to it. Very nice uh, kind of Adirondack bent wood table. Look at this kind of early Danish lamp. Ben Siebel inspired. Very nice the way it's got the brass around the wood. You have a bunch of rattan and wicker nesting tables, nesting chairs, the Salterini planters, nice travertine. Look at this wicker little gossip bench right there. You sit there, you put your laptop there, put your phone there. Amazing. Look, you got a nice one of these. Uh, uh, the Drexel headboard. People are always looking for them. Let me walk around the back side here. I know there's items back here that are in the sale. Look at that nice um, sectional. Now there are a bunch of sectionals, living room furniture that we did not have. We do not have in the building. We we photograph them and then we put them in storage. These items are all coming in for our next auction, which is going to be in April. And here we are back to the end of day one. And I'm going to say it's pretty much the end of the video. We're gonna just do another quick, slow walk by on these, on these group lots in the 500s on day one. Day one ends before number 600. So all these pottery items will say sell at the end of day one, probably closer to nine, 10 o'clock at night. A nice, nice teak wear, some good, statuary etc all right let's continue on this was very interesting it's a predicted tv but it was remade back in uh earlier this century it works with like regular inputs 
not not HDMI, but if you have like a if you have like a DVD player, it'll just put the uh, you know the right, left, and video into it, and it works. All right, let's continue on. This is about it. So I'm just gonna do a quick final pan of the room. It's a kind of auction where you miss items if you don't walk around it two, three times. These very cool op art paintings, oil paintings by Tim Ray Fisher. Very cool. These all light up. We usually try to photograph the items that light up so you know that they work. It actually makes them look a little bit better. Look at this great table and chairs under here. About 458 table and how many chairs? I think there's eight chairs that look like this. That very nice. Table and eight. Paul McCod. So we have it set as I think we sell. Yeah, the the, cha the chairs are eight chairs. Four sixty two is the Danish modern table. It's super nice, also. Okay, that's about it. I'll let you go. This has been Ken from Uniques and Antiques. Remember, follow us on YouTube by subscribing to our channel. Check us out at Instagram or maybe TikTok. Maybe. Sounds good. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.